Welcome back, everybody. It's time for Inside My UE, the University of the West Indies. We're finding out about some of the programs that they offer and why you should enroll in some of the programs. My guest this morning, Ms. Tanisha Brown Williams, who is a postgraduate program coordinator, Department of Management Studies at the University of the West Indies, and Ms. Calicia Gregor, Sports Management Program Coordinator, postgraduate as well. Yeah. All right, ladies, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. A big question is why should somebody get into management studies in the first place? Um, good question. We, I read recently, or we read, a 2018 World Economic Forum article that speaks to um, the future skills that are required. Mm -hmm. One of those skills are managerial skills. Um, so the, the future outlook is really about management and continues to be about management. But a lot of people are saying that the management and, and business area, there is such a, a high number of people involved in these programs. Um, are we concerned at all that there is a, that, that overpopulation in this field? Well, I don't think UE Scope is just Trinidad and Tobago. It's a regional university, and uh, our programs are accredited and recognized globally. In fact, UE is ranked among the top 5% universities mm -hmm. worldwide. So that anybody that comes through the system is well equipped to go regional or global. So what sort of management programs then do you offer? No, we have nine undergrad programs mm -hmm. and eight postgraduate programs, um, ranging from a specialization in marketing, HRM, um, banking and finance, all the way up to postgraduate studies in the same field. So marketing, tourism, mm -hmm. um, aviation, and Calista can speak to and sports, sports management. management. I yes. actually did a sport management course in UE. I think it was um, the, the second level course. Uh, in, in, um, so undergrad. we have okay. So we have the BSc sports right. management, right? Yes, I, I did one of the courses. It was pretty cool. You mm -hmm. get to learn about understanding sports, correct? Um, the players and that kind of thing. Well, most most importantly is we look at it in terms of sport as a business. So it's not so much right. just the athlete and everything. It's managing your, yourself as a brand, as well as organ making sure that you put your your agencies, your federations, your associations with the proper leadership management tools necessary for you to run it effectively. But why should I do sports management? Because it's a business. You have to run it as a business. We all look at it like just sports only, yeah. but in terms of the management. So one of the courses, all of the courses you look at, you have communications, you have marketing, you have sports management, mm -hmm. finance. So all of these things, it takes into the 360 degrees angle, and you look at each aspect and see how best you can run your business. And it's always good to have the knowledge so nobody can come and take advantage of it. Exactly, you, right? yes. Exactly. <laughs> but these programs um, under the Department of Social Sciences. Yeah, Faculty of Social Faculty Sciences, of, uh, Department Social of Management, management yes. Studies. How, how has students been coming in over the last couple of years, especially with GATE and um, well, those Well, we, we can expect there has been a <laughs> quite an uptake, right, in students because of GATE. Um, I believe it continues. And again, because UE offers, I believe, affordable um, and a diverse range of programs for, for persons to be involved in. I mean, personally speaking, my discipline is tourism. Mm. And um, tourism, as we know, is a growing global phenomena, not just in Trinidad or even regionally, but globally. And so when you get involved into, into our programs, it not only gives you, as, as Calissa says, it's a 360 degree approach, mm -hmm. which takes on a stakeholder interaction. You get exposed to um, stakeholders, you get exposed to internships, you get to travel abroad in some <laughs> of the cases. So it's a lot of experience, um, experiences that you're exposed to for your own development. And, and you mentioned your area is tourism. Yeah. What do you teach young people or people in general when they come to a program like that? Um, I dive first, that, well, the program is an MSc in Tourism Development mm -hmm. and Management. So you look at the developmental side, which deals with tourism policy and strategy. How do you manage, man, manage from a governmental perspective or public sector perspective? Mm -hmm. um, you talk about how to manage your destination holistically. You talk about, of course, how to engage your visitors. It's a really exciting program. How do we <laughs> engage our visitors? Ah, good question. <laughs> um, well, we are supposed to be good um, customer service agents and, uh -huh. and ambassadors, as we naturally are in Trinidad and Tobago. And so the program really speaks to um, capitalizing or, or fostering uh -huh. what is already in us as I, a people. I, uh, Kalisha, so you think that um, sport tourism is something that Trinidad and Tobago is um, 
you know, working towards in a very proactive way? Of course, yes. <laughs> you have to because <laughs> it's not only you have athletes coming into the country as well, so you have to also take that into account in terms of the customer service that we, how do we relate to these international persons or even regional persons or local, your local people, of course. So it's always important to look at that aspect as well. I mean, and you get to also meet some of the great sports athletes of if course. you decide to get into sports management, yes, right? Yes, yes. Have so you met any, any fancy cool <laughs> people in, in sports like, say, uh, Brian Lara or Neymar. Uh, Neymar. <laughs> Did you meet Neymar? No, oh. not yet. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I thought not that you yet. met him. No, 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 no. But you want to? <laughs> yes, and, yes, And this yes. feel you think you're going to get the opportunity? To well, <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually um, coordinating um, a sports event, the Red Bull Neymar Junior Tournament, so Neymar 5. So we just concluded the, um, the final, national final. Mm -hmm. So the winner of that tournament is going to go to Brazil to play with Neymar and his friends. So and you and never know, I might actually Are yeah, you going? Him. Most likely, yes. <laughs> so you see, this is why you should get involved in sports management, right? Yes. <laughs> I, um, tell me about the, to get into the program, what are the prerequisites? Okay, so apart from the, um, the BSc, I focus mostly on the UE FIFA CIS sports management program. It's an online program mm. and uh, it's for one year, three, three semesters. So you have to be actually, you have to add a, have a um, record of intensive practice experience in the sport industry. If not, if you want to just change your career and you just want a, d a different direction in terms of what it is you want to do. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to have a, unit, a, se um, a second degree in sports management right. or anything acceptable by the university to be accepted. Right. And for more information, we can check out the yeah, website. Mm -hmm. Just to add, um, I know people believe that you have to have a first degree for all programs coming into you, especially for postgrad, but it's a combination of experience, um, work experience, professional experience that is also um, taken into consideration. All right, well, thank you very much, Ms. Tanisha Brown-Williams, uh, postgraduate program coordinator, Department of Management Studies at the University of the West Indies, and Ms. Calicia Grego. Uh, postgraduate sports management program coordinator. It was a pleasure having you. Well, remember, check Thank out the UWE website for more information. Lisa, Thank Thank you. you did management studies I at UWE. I did, but it was called industrial management. Oh. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. That was my first degree. Oh. Yes, yeah, had a good time at UWE. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Thank so you. thank you very much, Rishi. Thank you, ladies.